Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with Carnades.org and 90 Second Philosophy. Today we are going to be looking at our first video on propositional logic. This one we're going to be just covering the very basics of propositional logic. So, in algebra, letters represent numbers, but in propositional logic, letters represent statements or sentences. In algebra, the most common letters that are used are X, Y, and Z. In propositional logic, the most common letters that are used are P, Q, R, and S. And each letter represents a statement, it represents a sentence, it represents a subject and a predicate. So, as I mentioned before, this is macro logic. We're talking about the whole sentence. We're not concerned with what's in the sentence, we're concerned with how the sentence is said to relate to others. Propositional logic only worries about those statements that are already sentences by themselves. So we might list them in one single sentence, but those parts that can be broken out as separate sentences are what we're concerned with. Let's take a look. So if I had the statement, if it is raining outside, then I will bring an umbrella, we can see that it is raining outside and I will bring an umbrella are sentences on their own. So we are concerned with them in terms of propositional logic and we can replace them with letters, as we mentioned earlier, if P then Q is what that statement would look like, turned into kind of a propositional logic that we can work more with and we'll understand how we work with it in the following videos. So that was the basics of propositional logic. Next up, we're going to take a look at the backbone of propositional logic, truth tables. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.